What are biocidal active substances? In previous videos I explained biocidal products and product types. In this video I'll talk about biocidal active substances. Remember the definition of a biocidal product. A biocidal product of a specific product type is a product that contains an active substance and has claims that are in line with product type specifications. So what is a biocidal active substance? According to the, definition, to the definition, it's a substance or a microorganism that has an action on or against harmful organisms. It is at the core of a biocidal product and it affects the claims on the label, product types, and the registration process in the EU. Now, let's focus on the claims. I'll make a separate video on the registration process later. The best way to show you how active substances are important to the biocidal product is to look at the list of active substances. The list is available on the website of the European Chemicals Agency, also known as ECHA. I posted the link in the description below, so you can find it yourself. A brief look at the list shows that there are three sorts of information. First, substances and substance identifiers, product types. You know, you see how they fit into the bigger picture now. And approval status along with the evaluating competent authority. Remember the example with alcohol? What we can learn about ethanol? It's listed four times because you can use it in four types of biocidal products. Mainly in disinfectants such as human hygiene, surface and food and feed area disinfectants. According to the list, you can also use it as an in-can preservative. Well, how about isopropanol? It's listed only three times. Similarly to ethanol, you can use it in human hygiene or surface disinfectants, as well as food and feed area disinfectants. However, unlike ethanol, you cannot use it in an in-can preservative. In other words, it's not recognized and approved as an active substance for such types of products. So in this case, the preservation claims would be false. What a twist! The product contains an active substance and has biocidal claims on the label, but still the product is not a biocidal product. How come? Because the active substance doesn't correspond to the claims, or vice versa. Now it's time to update our formula again. A biocidal product of a specific product type is a product that contains an active substance that corresponds to the product type and has claims that are in line with the same product type specifications. How about mixtures? For example, if I mix ethanol and isopropanol, what can I claim on the label? Can I make an in-can preservatives with two active substances, ethanol and isopropanol? Well, since isopropanol is not approved for in-can preservatives, such claims on the label would be false. In the case of mixture, when you have two or more active ingredients, the biocidal product can only be intended for product types that overlap. In our example, a mixture of isopropanol and ethanol can only be intended for human hygiene, surface disinfectants and food and feed area disinfectants. It cannot be intended for preservation of products during storage. How can you use this in practice? First, check claims on the label and identify and understand the type of the product. Second, check active substances and see if they correspond to the product type. If the claims are valid and the substances correspond to the claims, then the product is a valid biocidal product. Now, all the pieces of the biocidal puzzle fit together. You know how to, identi how to identify biocidal products, the intention of the product and active substances. In the final video for this topic, I'll explain the registration process in the EU. If you are interested in chemical regulations and practical tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on LinkedIn. See you next time.